Viewer discretion is advised. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a new American Truck Simulator episode. Today we're going to be doing the last and final series of the Dollar General stories. Uh, this is the actual one where I end up quitting and the reasons why. Um, I felt like there was enough time to actually clear the air now. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video out and kind of explain why I ended up quitting. So let's go ahead and start up our load here. We're doing a little nighttime run out here. I believe we're hauling tablewares. So yeah, tablewares to Medford and we're currently in Eugene. So let's go ahead and start up this truck here. The game's really stuttering for some unknown reason. But yeah, it's a very nice looking truck. We're going with the Schneider uh, truck today only because the uh, Dollar General uses Schneider and like CR England and stuff like that. US Express, Warner, all that fun stuff. Swift, I believe, as well, just to kind of name a few. Because they don't actually own their own trucks unless they're doing like... Um, uh, specifically their like fresh trucks which is like their produce and stuff like that so let's go ahead and make sure all the lights and everything work there we go let's do a little tug test here trailer brakes working as well perfect 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 so let's go ahead and get on out of this Walmart area here um but yeah I felt like it was enough time to actually go ahead and clear the air with Dollar General only because I didn't want to like you know post it right as soon as I ended up quitting I wanted to give it some time and everything till the air can clear and all that fun stuff. But I did end up quitting Dollar General in the late part of no or the, yeah, the late part of November. Um, and only because you guys know that I was talking about that I was taking care of two stores basically and stuff like that. And it's very frustrating and stuff like that, especially you know waking up at 7:30 in the morning and then or not even 7:30, having to wake up at like six in the morning. Getting to work at 7.30 in the morning at your first store. Leaving your first store around 2 or 3. 2, 2.30. Having to be at the other store at 3. Work there till 10.30. And then get home around 11.30. And then do it all over again. So it was getting really frustrating that they were making me do that on the daily. And I ended up just having enough of it. And plus there was a bunch of other stuff that uh, ended up going along with that. But that was the main key for what happened. But uh, the game is stuttering a lot. I don't know why. Very stuttery. Very, very stuttery today. But I decided to go with the International LT today only because that's kind of like the current truck that I've seen most of the operators use when they bring the trucks to Dollar General. Uh, we've had Schneider quite a few times. We've probably had Warner and CR England more than anything. But I couldn't find a CR England skin for this, so I decided to just go with the Schneider look. And I gotta say, it actually does look pretty nice. Very, very nicely looking. I'm not sure why it's lagging so much. Like, good lord, man. Laggy, laggy, laggy. But, um, a lot of the things was that the acting manager in Gilman, so the store manager down there was supposedly in the hospital with pneumonia, ended up giving her son her phone, which her son barely ever answered anybody back whenever they texted him. So, I was thinking that the SM actually quit, which supposedly she didn't because she's back now, supposedly, from what I heard. Not too sure, but from what I heard, is she's back now. But it was about three, two, three weeks or so where she was just in the hospital with pneumonia. And I'm sitting there thinking, there's no way she's still going to be here. Like, she quit. She obviously quit. And, of course, at that time, the district manager and the training manager, the two acting training managers at that time, who were supposed to be taking care of that store, weren't answering. And stuff like that. So they'd never answer their phone um, and anything to help. So it was always me. So I was basically running two stores at the same time, all while trying to get my store in tip-top order and then having to get their store in tip-top order and then dealing with all the complaints and all this bullshit and everything and are you fucking honking at me dude I don't think so but yeah as you can see for some reason the GPS and the dash are still not working I think it's gotta be a glitch with the new ATS um 1.3.7 because nothing it's last three trucks we've actually used haven't actually had working dials or computers or anything like that so I'm not quite sure 
uh, what the deal is but I think it's got to do something with the new update but I do hope you guys are having an awesome day so far um, I know not sure what I'm doing because this is actually one of those like pre-recorded videos it's like a back burner video from when Kayla was still um, doing her like training thing for her school or not schooling but for her new job this was a little bit of a back burner video from then so I hope you guys are having an awesome awesome day but yeah going back to the stories and stuff so none of them were answering their phones and they were basically they had were down to two managers not even like actual managers managers they were just regular like leads so they were basically acting as the store managers and stuff like that um they had an um, oh so we got a detour great great we have a fucking detour so we ended up having a uh, they had an assistant manager as well but she ended up quitting she actually she like no call no showed a lot of times because they actually ended up forcing her to end up taking the position so she had a full-time job already um, she was still fairly new to Dollar General maybe like not even a month in they basically kind of like forced her to take the ASM position or like the assistant manager position they kind of forced her and she liked it for the first couple weeks I ended up training her through night shift and stuff like that like how to do closing procedures and stuff she liked it she picked up on it pretty quick and then I guess she ended up getting tired of it because she was going to her full-time job and then coming here doing this even though Dollar General said they would actually match her for what she was making over there which I don't think they actually did or else she wouldn't be you know she would not be um, <clears throat> quitting so back again they were down to two leads who were acting as managers and stuff like that one of them was still in school and the other one had a very sick wife to take care of so they couldn't be at the store 24 7 like Dollar General expected them to be and of course one of the training managers was talking to me and saying that they that they they're both need to go when I mean, they both got real life stuff to deal with, and my game is stuttering to hell, good lord. But they both got real life stuff, like one has school and one's got a very sick wife to take care of, like, they're not gonna be at fucking Dollar General for the rest of their lives. Like, that's what some of these people need to understand, is that they think that Dollar General is gonna be their new life. No, it's not. I have We have lives outside of there. Funny story, when I ended up quitting, I guess they promoted somebody as a new ASM. And then a few weeks ago, they ended up posting a job offer for a new assistant manager down at that same store that I was an ASM at. So, supposedly that they didn't do a good enough job, or the person that they hired um, just ended up quitting. And I'm in third person here because I can't actually see the stoplight. Here we go. Making this right or left hand turn and getting back on the interstate here. Jesus Christ, the game is stuttering. Holy crap, I've never had it stutter this much before. Alright, so I ended up restarting my game, so I'm hoping it fixed the whole issue of the lag, but it looks like it fixed the GPS and the, the uh, computer, which is a good sign, because I was kind of getting worried that like none of my trucks were going to work, and I'd have to like give up ATS for a little bit, because all the things were not working. But it looks like we don't actually have to take that route, thankfully. Uh, I believe we're going to be going up this way right here. Making a left over here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and turn on some lights. Only because it's kind of getting darker outside, so it might rain. Not sure, though. Not too sure, though. But here's a look at the interior of this puppy. I keep forgetting to show off the interiors of the trucks. Looks really nice. It kind of went with the diamond cherry interior. Looks very, very, very nice. You know, we're going to be struggling going up this hill here, it looks like. Not struggling, struggling, but struggling. But yeah, so that ended up happening. Um, so she, the ASM that they kind of forced to take the position actually ended up quitting. All while the storm, their actual store manager was in the hospital. So it was already a giant clusterfuck down there. We had one employee that complained about literally every single thing but didn't really do a damn thing himself. And there was maybe like three damn good employees down there. And that's about it. So out of the seven that they had, only three ended up being like keepers for the most part. Um, so they ended up, from what I heard, is they hired somebody that ended up quitting before by giving her a higher pay, and that's kind of how like desperate they are for people right now. 
So both of these on ramps are closed. Are you kidding me? Okay, this one's not. This one shouldn't be closed. Are you kidding me? They're both closed? Okay, well I guess we're going to have to take a detour. Because both on ramps or off ramps are closed. And we're going to have to try not to get on the interstate here. We're going to have to try to figure out our own way and try to figure out a way to actually get off of the interstate here. So we'll end up getting off at this exit and then we'll just have to try to backtrack I guess. That's crazy that both exits are closed. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So we'll end up getting off at this um, exit here and then we'll... I don't see an, another road that we can actually take. Which is the sad part. But it's not telling us to go this way and watch. We're going to smash into a wall if we do. Yep. Knew it. Alright, well. Looks like we're going to have to just do what we can, I guess. Um, Yeah, we're going to have to backtrack one more time, it looks like. This is getting ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> We're just going to keep backtracking for a long ways away. Definitely ridiculous. Dollar General would be pissed if they found out that this was actually happening. Out on the roadway. Looks like they have a trailer that fucked up over here. Getting on the uh, interstate. Yep. Alright, so we're going to get off here, it looks like, which we can. So we'll end up getting off at this exit here, and then we'll just have to try to find our way and, like, backtrack, I guess. Get off here at 6th, 6th Avenue. And let's see if we can just backtrack up this way and maybe, maybe make it. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, it's kind of pointing us back towards the interstate, which I feel like is going to be the only way to go. But we can't go that way, so we'll can't go this way either. Um, let's see what we got. Yeah, because this is just a tiny little town where it's going to have us backtrack up to the interstate again. There's nowhere in hell that we can actually do this. And then it's just going to have us backtrack yet again. Alright, so I'm going to go this way and we're just going to make a flip a U-turn basically over here at the Tesla plant. Or not even at the Tesla plant, we're just going to flip a U-turn anyway. Because this is kind of getting ridiculous that we have to just detour the entire way for the most part. We're just going to go. We are just going to go. I know we're cutting that trucker off right there, but it's okay. Definitely okay hauling that BP trailer. Definitely hauling that BP trailer. Stopping here at a red light. Alright, so we got a green light here. Going to be taking a left down at the next road. Uh, we should have actually just waited over there because we're not going to be able to clear our entire trailer into here. So we should have honestly just waited. But uh, we'll be alright. It'd be aight. We got some room now. Traffic is flowing again. We're going to wait on this ambulance to pass and then we'll go ahead and make our left turn. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That FedEx trucker is waiting on me. And we kind of screwed his ass over, but that's alright. <clears throat> that is completely alright. Alright, so now with the whole backtrack, we're back 200 miles again. 203 miles. But yeah, so... Just pointing out a disclaimer here. Working 60 plus hours a week at that place for $11 an hour when you had a cashier making a lot more than you just was not worth it. Uh, I wouldn't mind working 60 hours at a different job, just not that job. And then, of course, our the store, my main store, couldn't keep a person. 
longer than a month because of how trash and everything it was and stuff like that. And I don't know if you guys ever went into a Dollar General. But most of their stores are trashed unless it's like a project store, which is like your manager. The store manager is like a training manager. They're the ones that get the most attention. But most Dollar General stores were trashed completely. So... If you guys ever walk into a Dollar General, it's because they send you too, they send too much stuff to the store that they don't actually need. Because a lot of their inventory numbers are completely off, and nobody seems to really understand that. But we're actually going to be going back towards this way. It looks like the roadblock has been cleared up. Which is nice. Well, not really. Not really, but there's no other way we can go. So we're just going to sneak through here. Because there's no other way that we can actually get through. So we're just going to sneak through. Like a Dollar General trucker would. I'm going to sneak through and then of course there's really nothing over here. So I don't really understand what the big deal is. And why the road's completely blocked off. But I do see something up ahead now so it does make sense. And it does turn into a one lane. But it looks like there is a car accident scene over here. But they could have just started putting people in the shoulder. There's no reason for this hole to be blocked off only because of that. So, there we go. There we go. There we go. But yeah, so it was just... It was just frustrating more than anything. Because I bust my ass at that place. Like, I worked hard. And that's the thanks I get was basically get shit on by the district manager or all the managers and thing and have me like do all this shit even my manager at the my main store was saying that I can't be doing this all the time maybe like once or twice a week but not every fucking day every week and then literally I've worked maybe like 28 days straight in that stretch like I didn't have a day off for 28 fucking days I was completely burned out at the time and yeah, so it was just like a pain in the fucking ass, if I do say so myself. A definite pain in the ass. But the acting manager over there, which was a lead, ended up telling me one day that nobody was replying to her, like the training, the district manager and the training manager that was supposed to be running that store ended up blocking her number so that she wouldn't contact them because they never got back to her and every phone call or everything she made went straight to voicemail so I'm sitting here thinking here's more fucking drama that nobody wants to know about she's pretty much fed up with it she was pretty much done with Dollar General right then and there and stuff and I'm like I didn't blame her and there were times where um I ended up just walk, wanting to walk out because it was just too much bullshit and not, not basically overworked and underpaid for the most part but it was more bullshit than you've probably ever had in any other job so after the ASM quit they're back down to two managers again I'm not sure what the hell's going on over here but everyone's slamming on their fucking brakes looks like there's an accident of course because I'm stupid four-wheeler doesn't understand how a trucks how trucks work fucking dumbass fucking fucking dumbass but yeah, ever since I restarted my PC, the game's a lot smoother now, which is good. Which is very good. So yeah, they ended up doing that. And then I ended up getting bitched at because of it. And it's like, how is it my fault that she quit because y'all forced her to take a position that she didn't want to take? Like, it's really not my fault that that actually happened. Like, people have their own lives. People have their own things that they want to do. Nobody wants to be forced to do a job that they don't want to. Especially take a position and basically like force them to quit their other job to work for you which in my opinion is definitely not the right thing to do if you're gonna force someone to quit a job just because you want them working for you then I'm sorry but you need to rethink your management skills and management evaluation and management ways and stuff like that so um, but yeah it was I it all I can say is it's major major bullshit what they did very very major bullshit so the day I ended up quitting a multitude of things happened 
I ended up having to pull a double, which was unplanned, and I worked all the way from 7.30 in the morning all the way to 9.30 at night. So looks like we're going to have to pull another way station here for an inspection. Here's a listen to the Jake break. Not the loudest sounding thing, not the meanest sounding thing, but it works. It works. But yeah. So it was an unplanned double. Um, and of course, by that time, I was having to be out of my apartment by the first. So it was about f five, um, five days till then or so. And I told my manager, but it looks like we got 78,059 pounds. Let's go ahead and hop all back on the highway here. Oh, DHL's got a delivery. Oh, no, highway maintenance. Never mind. But yeah, I ended up telling my manager that I needed like a day or two off because of, you know, the moving. And I had to be out within like six days. So I didn't have to pay another month's rent. And for some unknown reason, I don't think my manager really understood or just didn't give a shit. But she ended up leaving early like she normally did leave early and then try to come back but she never came back but yeah she ended up leaving early because she hasn't had a day off in like a week and i'm like i was there fucking three weeks without it or almost four weeks without a complete day off which i could have gotten to osha about because that's completely against the law especially if you're working over 40 hours a week you're not supposed you're supposed to have at least one day off not work 28 days in a row so I ended. Up, I could. I could have easily called OSHA on their on their asses for doing that, and I could call the fire marshal on the way the store looks, which I might end up doing if I ever walk in there again. I try to avoid that place like the plague, but if I ever do walk in there again, I'll definitely end up calling the fire marshal because it's unsafe working condition. That's unsafe for the customers, and it's just an unsafe place. All the emergency exits were blocked and stuff like that and anytime I try to do something about it someone would always shove the cart back there or whatever and it's like well I tried I tried but when the closing manager was called off she was actually in the hospital for some issues so I called my store manager and said that hey the closing manager ended up calling off and I can't stay because I gotta do my moving so I tried calling anybody else that I could nobody else could come in and work the person that I couldn't call is because he was at war as other job. She ended up getting a hold of, and he said he would come in. So we're gonna actually backtrack a little bit to that day. Um, that's just the later part of the day. But looks like we've got a slow down sign. 83 miles left to go. But yeah, so I ended up calling other stores within the area to see if they had anybody to close before, because he was my last resort to call because you know he had another job and I know I couldn't get a hold of him until a certain time throughout the day but I ended up calling a bunch of different stores before that and then I called my district manager to see what I can do because I couldn't stay because I was moving and he ended up telling me the same thing I already did so it's like you're kinda useless so but then I ended up she ended up getting a hold of the other manager that was at the his other job and he said he'd come in so I'm like okay cool so he usually comes in around 5 because he has he gets off at his other job around 3.30 so he'll come in around 5. So here comes 5 o'clock, nothing. 5.30 I end up texting him saying when are you coming in? He's like I'll be in at 6.15. I'm like are you fucking kidding me? I can't have you come in at 6.15. And I gotta go. So 6 o'clock rolls around he ends up texting me saying that he can't come in because his kid's sick. And I'm like are you fucking kidding me right now? And the sad part is his wife works at the uh, school. His wife's a teacher at the preschool that his kid goes to. So if his kid was sick, she would have known about it earlier in the day. And that's the part that really pissed me the fuck off is because he knew about it earlier, but he just didn't really give a shit. And if his wife's a teacher and his kid was sick, she, would, she knew he was sick because she's his teacher for the most part. You would know. So I texted my store manager that. And she never answered. I called her at least four different times. No answer. It went straight to voicemail. So, assuming she either shut off her phone. Because I know it wasn't dead. Like, she claimed the next day it was dead. Um, because she always has it on the charger when we're working. So, it wasn't dead. Like she said it was. Um, and then... So, I ended up having the fucking stay the entire time. Which was bullshit in my opinion. And I ended up writing my resignation letter and I'm not didn't even put in a two-week notice I just put in a one-day notice and just left that place left it 
left it in the dust because it was stupid. I was one of the hardest workers at that store besides like two other people and they're basically struggling hardcore right now. They're struggling a lot more than when I was there because I kind of held the team together like glue for the most part but now they treat me like shit. I'm not going to stick around much longer. So I ended up putting that in Next day, I was scheduled in at 8 o'clock. My store manager was scheduled in at 6 o'clock. Are these two Estes trucks right next to each other? That's pretty fucking cool. I've never seen that before. But yeah, so I was scheduled in at 8 o'clock, and my manager was scheduled in at 6. Of course, I didn't show up. So, I was 8 o'clock, I get a call, or like 8.15 I get a call stating that I have to come turn in my keys because um, I put her in a very bad position. And she said that I she pulled up, the employees were waiting outside, and um, vendors were waiting outside, a truck was waiting outside, and customers. And my game is lagging like a motherfucker again. That's probably because of all the high traffic. But yeah, so that ended up happening, and I told her, I'm like... So you expect me, so you expect that to be my fault when I'm looking at the schedule right here. I wasn't due in until 8 and you were due in at 6. That shut her up real, that, that actually shut her the fuck up right there because she knew she was late. And I'm sitting there like, how was that my fault when I was supposed to be in after the store opened and you were supposed to be the one doing all that shit? So that shut her the fuck up right then and there. And then, of course, when I went to go turn in my keys... Uh, she was pissed off, but also on that phone call, she started like so giving me a sob story, saying that she was at a birthday party for her son and her phone died and blah 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 blah, or took took him to like Subway or some shit like that. And I'm like, I I, I don't want to hear your sob story. That pissed me off to no end. Then of course everything happens there was my fault. So luckily I set her ass straight before I left. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole story about Dollar General. If you guys do agree that it is bullshit, let me know down in the comments below. Dollar General is not one of those places I would recommend working. But we do have a Schneider intermodal trailer right here. And we're a Schneider truck. That's funny. That's really funny. But yeah, guys, like I said, if you guys do agree that that is a complete bullshit, do let me know down in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy this America Truck Simulator video, hit that like button to show your support. As well as hit that subscribe button if you guys have not yet already. Make sure you guys follow me on the Twitter page, Instagram, Facebook. Add me on Snapchat, Steam. Join the Discord server. You can also follow me on Flickr. And I don't ask for them, but if you guys do ever want to donate to the channel to help out with like content and like new, new equipment and like new games and stuff, the link is down in the description below to donate. Like I said... Y'all don't have to, but if you do truly want to, it is an option. It is it is definitely an option. And if you guys do want to as well, you can go ahead and join the Patreon. Patreon page as well. There are two different tiers right now. It's one, a five, I believe it's a one, two, and ten, or a one, five, and ten. But there are different options for Patreon right now as well. If you guys are interested in that, supporting me monthly. But I don't ask for it. I'm not asking for it. I'm just saying if you guys do ever want to. It is there is that option available looks like we are coming up to our destination here on the left and I will definitely have this truck um, skin the truck and the trailer skin in the description below if you guys do want to check it out and use them as well very nicely done skins very very nicely done skins the trailer and the truck and the truck is a very nice model as well so yeah guys, if you guys have any idea what that computer glitch is for the uh, game, do let me know down in the description below. Is it this way? Alright, so we are coming to the Home Depot here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here we are. Alright, uh, I believe... No, we can't go there. It's through this way, isn't it? I don't know. There's a grain trailer over there, that's fucking weird. Is it this way? Let's go ahead and turn the flashers on. Not sure why the parking brake became engaged. But there are trucks blocking the road here. 
Oh, I see where you get in at. I see now. It's like right at the end over here behind these little um, barrels. I want to hit those. That'd be a bad combination if we hit those. Oop. I don't want to jackknife this puppy either. Alright, so here we are coming into this area right here. It's actually right here. I didn't even see this the last when we were there. But it's this little area right here where we'll just have the fence open with the beacon lights on. And I think we're going around the back it looks like. So we'll be going around the back here. Here we go, here we go, here we go with our flashers on as a random car just randomly parked over here. Let's go ahead and see where they want this puppy. Look at all these Home Depot trailers. A Home Depot reefer. That's a that's new. Half these trailers don't make any sense in this game. Like, why would Home Depot have a fucking reefer? Multiple reefers. Home Depot don't sell any foods. Like, why in the hell would they have two reefer trailers parked in their lot over here? Unless they're trying to get into the food business. I don't know. I mean, maybe they're trying to get into the food business that they're hurting that much for uh, sales. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just find that a little odd. But it was the same thing I understand with Walmart. I understand with Walmart, but I don't understand like Home Depot or like Texaco or any of those companies. FedEx doesn't make any sense either because they, they don't ship anything perishable as far as I know. But yeah, I just find that really odd. But it looks like they're going to be fine with it right there. So are we. Neutral, park and brake, engine off. And let's go ahead and enter it up. Excelente. So we got $14,293. 627 XP. We're almost at level 50. Almost, almost. Not quite halfway there, but we're almost there. But yeah, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys here on the next one. Take care.